You, you have a strong force of will, stronger than I felt possible. I have never heard tell of a mortal that could stand in Ashara. But we are here. I, I can recall now, vaguely. I walked this place before, and shaped the ground. That tree in the center, it is the embodiment of the sorrows. Vizirain will be there, but he has prepared himself. This barrier keeps us from him, and there are other magics at work. It is a place the weeping ki that I that I crafted to house the sorrows. Beyond its borders is a shara, the plane of magic. When Fey are born, their life force comes from a shara, and to a shara their life force returns upon death. This is a powerful place. The tree in the center of the space, the inversion of the gallows tree that you've seen in the midden, that is the form of the sorrows. The Midden is the Cradle of Winter. It is connected to this realm, where the Winter Fae descend from. The Gallows Tree serves to bridge the Midden and Ashara. Yes, we can. I can sense the conduits the magic follows and there are weak points, nexuses of energy that we can exploit. But Bizarrain is no fool. He will not leave them unguarded. And I feel strange presences. There is something waiting, mortal. Something dreadful. Bizarrain is correct in that he can manipulate the magic of this place, but we can manipulate it as well, if not as easily. The barrier is strong, but it feeds off nexuses of energy and those are vulnerable. We must destroy them to reach Bizarrain. We must hurry. We, we meet again, mortal. Can I, can I truly be here, standing before the sorrows? I remember, no, no swords, fire, and then, and then, nothing. But he brought me back to fight you. I cannot, I can't. I'm sorry, mortal. So, so sorry.
We must be quick. You! You dare tread here. A mortal dare shows himself in the sacred lands of the House of Sorrows. I have been dead a short time, and already I learned so much since he raised me. You are the cause of all this. Bizarrain relied on you for his plans. Because of you, the house is dead. <laughs> Finally, you have come. I must admit, I did not give you credit when last we faced each other. And now, I am here. My master has raised me to protect his labors, and I will oblige him. You may have bested me previously, but you will not do so again. Perhaps if I take your head here, my master will have faith in me once again. Shall we find out? And so you have finally reached me. I have waited, mortal. The longest of any I have waited. And now, Bizarrain has raised me against my will to be part of his design. I sought to stop him. I found the plan he had conspired, and I fled the house, for I knew not what to do. But I could have stopped this scheme. 
And then you came and killed me. And now I am a puppet to his will. He cannot be stopped, mortal. Bizarrain cannot be stopped. You have slain what vestiges of your past I could conjure, and the barrier has fallen. So now, we are here. You think your presence here can stay my spells? The last words have been uttered. You are too late to stop me. I cannot. You do not understand Fey, mortal. What I do is for the good of all the Winter Kingdom. There are fires coming to this world. I have only glimpsed a fleeting shadow of them, and I am awed and scared and humbled. Only the two Arthur will be able to bear these tribulations, so they must survive this war. Now, you understand why I must fight. I have to fight. <laughs> Bizarin may be dead, but the death blow is still his. The sorrows have already begun escaping their seal. We need to act quickly, or this will all be for nothing. I must seal the sorrows within myself. I... I do not know for sure. I will be forced to remain in Ashara, lest the sorrows break free once more. Whether I will live or die is unclear. But... but I cannot be afraid. It must be done. For the good of mortals. For the good of Fae. I... It is a noble sentiment, mortal. But you do not understand. They must be anchored in Ashara, and you cannot remain here. Only I can. But please, bear witness to this last act. Tell the world what happened here. How the House of Sorrows ended. We must hurry.
people stole the secrets of life. Now they come to take our land. from my land. Plenty of supplies if you've got plenty of coin.
Back again. are born to die. In Tyrannus' name. Simple army. How will you fare, I wonder, against the power of a god? Only a fool denies the power they can feel. She has been speaking more and more, and she has such interesting things to say about you. Soon, Tiernok the Merciful will come to our world in person. Then we'll see whose life is a lie, and whose life is nothing but salt and cinders.
to stand against Tiernock? Strike him down and salt the earth of his grave. Nothing may live, lest oh, Tiernock commands it. As you might. Struggle as you will, you are deluded. There is no winning for you, only death. Yes, but death as you define it means little to us. The great cycle returns each to offer as to offer again. And every time they do, Tiernok gets stronger. Soon, she will be born into this world. You will witness her power personally, and it will be the last thing your mortal flesh shall ever feel. <laughs> Adflo's voice has fallen silent in this land. The Tuatha are frightened and disorganized. They run back to Alabaster to make their final stand. We owe you much. Our eyes are open and our blades unsheathed. Cluricon is one. 
the House of Pride stands between us and the final goal. We are now free to press forward. And I can take you to an old friend who knows the next step. Yes, we will take you to his filthy tower on the island of Danistar. He hides within and has not emerged in some time. I would like nothing more than to let him rot there. But he knows of a way past the Sentinel of the House of Pride. But there will be more danger on the path ahead. Take these blades to prepare for whatever troubles you will face at his tower or beyond. Far to the southwest, there is a darkened tree by the Caled coast. Meet me there, and we can walk the shadow to the gnome's tower. Aelin Shear will be waiting there. She was most insistent to join in whatever business you have with the Collector of the Dead. We've seen Ventrinio leave the island before, but until recently, he always had company. Usually they were henchmen. Sometimes, they were corpses. And once, not too long ago, it was you. My people are no strangers to exile on the barren island of Danistar. To steal back our freedom, the House of Sorrows forged a path to the coast through living shadow. It's safe so long as you keep your eyes closed during the journey and ignore the whispers. Lannister Island is sheltered from visitors by stone and storm. Exiles of the Winter Court were once banished to its lonely shores. We know of a secret shadowed path, a legacy from a house all too familiar with exile. We will meet again at the shadowed tree on the Caled Coast. Walking through living shadow, eh? I'll leave that one to you. I won't lie. Aileen's been a big help. She saved me once or twice at Melson Shear when she could have just let me die. Still can't shake the feeling that she's hiding something. But whatever it is, it's probably not too sinister. Probably. Gadflow is just some trumped-up fay who started hearing voices, I gather. But a crazy with an army is still a threat, sure enough. Strange crystal, Prismere. It's normally a shade of blue, but when you treat it and charge it with magic, it turns blood red. It's fay magic connects two points together like a bridge. I suppose that explains how they got a small group all the way to Dalantarth. The Fey in the House of Vengeance are, bar none, the fiercest, strongest, most downright unstoppable creatures in the land. Not that they have a lot to be vengeful about. After all, Gadflow is the one who started the dam. You know where you stand with a gnome. They're always so focused on their work or research or what have you that they've got no time for lies. Shame, they try to stay out of fights. Much as we could use their help in the war, staying neutral is about the only way they can stay safe. Sickness grows in the heart of each Tuatha. I will cut it out. The Tuatha taint my house and twist our power. I'll take my vengeance from the Tuatha's hides. Aye. No, I think you can handle that one by yourself. I have some work to do with the army in Cluricon.
Greetings, Wanderer. Greetings, Wanderer. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Greetings, Wanderer. Greetings, Wanderer. 